All right, so my name is Fabian and I will uh, do a presentation on uh, physical activity improves quality of life. Meaning I want to bring up the subject of uh, our society having a problem with obese people and overweight. So I want to ask you a question. Why do you exercise? Do you exercise to look good, uh, live healthy or just to uh, keep yourself busy? So um, maybe you like to go to the gym to see your friend, to catch up. That would be another way. Uh, so today I'm going to persuade you to go your, yourself involved in some activity. So meaning go out there and get like, some blood rush uh, through your heart so that way you can uh, feel a little better. Some people ask me for how long do I exercise and how many days a week should I be doing it. There is no way of telling how much time do you have, so it's, it will vary from person to person. Uh, the American Heart Association recommends two, two, and, two, point, two and a half hours that equals 30 minutes a day for five days and two days off. <clears throat> so it's not really that intense and it if it's our schedules perfectly, you know, 30 minutes, I don't think that's a lot out of 24 hours that we have during the day. Uh, also, they gave us another option, which is to split the 30 minutes into the three 10 minutes workouts, uh, which are three different uh, modes you can do, moderate, vigorous, intense workouts. So I had this little um, funny, um, picture over here on my um, presentation or I should say slide uh, exercising would be so much more rewarding if calories screamed while you burn your damn <clears throat> so the first thing I want to say uh, moderate activ activities five days a week 30 minutes you all might think is it to you know commitment to the gym not necessarily uh yes in some way but you can also do an activity while cleaning house or do, uh, doing anything that you like ride a bike for example uh take a walk uh clean your car uh even crunches can do the job and you, you know uh, and give you a break from sitting by the desk all day long so that will refer to people that work in the office and they have to spend a lot of time uh, sitting behind the computer so sometimes it's really good to just get a get, get a little break five to ten minutes do some sit-ups the crunches to uh do something that you can do with this little space in your office uh getting back to what america heart association has recommended and points out Physical activity will boost your mental wellness. Regular activity can relieve stress, tension, and anxiety, uh, anger, and even depression. Well, we have a lot of depression going on in these uh, days. People really don't know what to do with themselves or they don't find any motivation. And I think, uh, you know, having a 30 minutes workout can actually help you deal with this kind of uh, uh, depression. Over time, the person notices better uh, well-being and the exercise become part of their daily life. So after a while, I want to say maybe from a um, month to three months, you can start feeling that this is not anything abnormal to you anymore. This is something that you do for um, and then you just kind of implement this in your schedule. So you feel there's a routine. A lot of uh, what we got going on is too much sitting around the, and uh, other sanitary activities can increase your risk of cardiovascular disease. So we have a lot of people that like to sit in front of the TV or play games, eat food, don't move for maybe 8 to 12, you know, sometimes to 10 hours. And that's really not good for you. I've heard about examples, people dying. They didn't want to go to urinate or... Uh, some, kind of, uh, some kind of cardiovascular disorder uh, so as you can see it's not a it's not a best way to, of spending your time uh, 
one study showed the adults who watch TV for more than uh, four hours a day had a 46% increased risk of death from any cause and 80% increased risk of death from cardiovascular disease. So this is something where I just mentioned. Physical activities prolong your opt optimal health. Without regular physical activity, the body slowly loses its strength, stamina, and ability to function well. Uh, people that are physically active usually live longer, about seven years, versus uh, the ones that don't have any physical movement. So we need to keep moving to be to be healthier. So it's all at this point, you know, you, it's what you want to choose. And I would say uh, 30 minutes, it's really nothing. You should definitely go for it and uh, uh, improve your life. You can get another seven years, possibly. of healthy life. So I was trying to just to, uh, on my slideshow, I had a little breakdown uh, what, uh, where all the burn of the calories happens and uh, what, you know, what, what our organisms use as a powerhouses to um, give, generate the energy for us. If you stay active every day, you will lose most likely have weight loss. Some people have re recorded six to eight pounds loss over three months. So consistently, 30 minutes a day, five days a week, those are your results. You might lose eight pounds and feel a lot better, a lot lighter, uh, because your body uses ADP, which comes from mitochondria. Those powerhouses for our bodies have, uh, have uh, power our muscles and brain, as well as a heart. They use food first, and then they break down the glycogen that is stored as a backup fuel. This is why the, they did the study and found the proper amount of food daily so we can keep a balance so this is something you might want to look into you know it's a little bit more complicated the second activity would be vigorous your heart rate goes up your body targets the stubborn fat which is stored as a backup for us to use after the food is consumed so this big picture shows us one of the running at least 5 to 5.5 miles an hour so you train it doesn't get you and take the food out of your hands so that would have been a little bit more funny if I showed you on slideshow that's what I did I had a picture of trainer fit trainer ch chasing little kid uh, where the ice cream cone in his hand and so vigorous exercise actually help you burn uh, target the stubborn burn uh, the fat that is stored uh, as a glycogen so it's uh, definitely worth it if you really want to have some good results but like I said you don't have to do it uh, my third mode of exercise is intense workouts which are very advanced a, le uh, a lot of discipline and de dedication involved here so these are really you know for people that want to really look good and they they all about eating healthy and working out uh, every day or even twice a day sometimes you have to um choose between going to party and coming home late not going enough sleep uh so meaning you know a lot of people think oh yeah i'm gonna just make that commitment and then just go out start drinking come back home i don't feel good i, I start making excuses so this is not how it's gonna work but in the in the morning to get up and then you work work a routine this would be impossible so like i just said you know you can't just drink party all night and then go and think you can go back to workouts that you've been doing uh this lifestyle required for uh from us the dedication and having to say no here are some examples of intense workouts also adding bicycle 12 to 15 miles an hour can be included in intense workouts this is how people get their image of good looking bodies so whenever you see a person that look that looks really good and they have their you know perfect body let's call it um that doesn't mean they just they don't you know they they that means they they really dedicate themselves they work hard and excuse my coffee um so that way um they can they can look good you can uh, be actually amazed by the way they look uh, all these modes of workouts are the fit for any person and depends on how much time you have So let's get back again to it. So those are three different modes and I'm telling you, you know, you can choose one of them to Change your life forever um, American Heart Association 
is the biggest in the United States. They also recommend to quit smoking. Managing your stress also helps your heart. Heart disease are the first ones to cause the death in the pro person. So we need to take care of our hearts as best as we can for long living. Also, we might inspire someone else and help them change their life. So through this, you're not only helping yourself, you might help others because you will give them the motivation. They will come to you. They will start asking questions how to do it and what to do and um, how to be better. So I wish you good luck, guys. Hopefully this uh, persuasive uh, speech was enjoyable. And um, thank you for being uh, my classmates. And it was fun to take that class with you guys. Uh, have a good one.